All right, welcome back. So I've got this piano sample here. Uh, this is an instrument or one of the instruments from my latest release, R Retention. So check it out using the link in the description below. Uh, probably you'll get a better idea of what uh, the distortion sounds like on the track. So yeah, uh, this is what the piano sample sounds like. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna insert a distortion plugin on the return channel here. So I'm gonna go to Melda. and drop this here. I'm gonna send the signal from this channel here to the return channel. Let's go through some presets. And I use this preset on the track, so let's just try that. sounds really distorted. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly resample uh, both of these. Now we have this. Now what I'm gonna do is send the signal from this channel to the uh, return A channel with the distortion. And I'm going to resample just the distortion. So I'm gonna solo the distortion channel. Now you can see that uh, or you can hear it sounds way more distorted compared to the uh, the first iteration here. So I'm going to solo the return channel. I'm going to resample this. Cool, so I'm just gonna fade these things in just to avoid any harsh clicks at the beginning when we add the, the distortion. So it stacks up, so yeah. Okay, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this and I'll bring the bring this down by an octave. Okay, sounds really distorted. So what I'm gonna do is send the signal from this channel to the written channel once again. Now we are entering the low end territory here. And that is what we want eventually. A really heavy, dense uh, sound, really distorted.
But uh, let's take it further by adding a saturator. Let's try this. I'm going to bring the drive it down. What I'm going to do now is I want to give this sound a bit of space. So I'm going to add a convolution reverb here. So where is it? Oh, yeah, this is the one. So I'm going to add the convolution reverb to the return channel. Probably I'll just uh, pick anything here something arbitrary I'm uh, so let's try this out you can see that the convolution reverb adds some space and makes it warmer Let's try and add um, another saturator here, maybe the rectifier on this channel here. I'm going to bring the drive it down so we don't go overboard on this. Maybe we need more distortion, so I'm going to just duplicate this here and bring it here. Let's try another preset here. I'm just playing around with the this uh, the send value here, uh, just to check what sounds right. So what I'm gonna do is resample this and including the distortion from return A. Resample. And maybe I'll just play around with the uh, send value in real time just to add some inconsistency or maybe something similar to that resample So now we have this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is duplicate this 
and I'll bring this down by an octave. So we're getting there. Maybe what it needs is another rectifier here. Okay, I'm just gonna make this mono real quick because it has a lot of low end and if you're gonna use this in a track probably you'll use this as a bass sound or something along those lines so it's uh, better to keep it mono to avoid any phase cancellations that may occur So yeah, we've got this and maybe we could add another distortion plugin on this to really push it even further. So what I'm going to do is add maybe um, let's try it, uh, try out uh, noise engineering Ruina. This should do the job. I'm going to send uh, the signal from this channel here to Ruina. Let's solo uh, return B with the Ruina on it. I mean, yeah. Okay, that's quite extreme. Probably. Uh, you may want that depending on the the strength of the distortion that you would like. So I'm okay with uh, uh, with the maximum distortion. So with the Ruina and the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, so with this and the Ruina and the other distortion on return A, it sounds like this. Okay, I'm just going to bring the, uh, or turn off return A on this because... I think this sounds much better just with the Ruina and and this. So yeah.
add another rectifier to this. I'm trying to layer this and see where it goes because you may want both of these uh, together. It just depends on uh, what you, uh, you really want out of this. Maybe I'll add a convolution reverb to this. Just uh, push it to the background a little. Uh, you know what, I'll copy this here and maybe I'll copy the rectifier as well let's see what that does Maybe we could uh, EQ this a little just to fine tune it. So let's remove some of the frequencies here. So yeah, uh, you can see that from the piano sample. Now you've got something like this.
maybe we could uh, mono uh, make this mono as well and see where that leads us. Maybe I'll just reduce the width here by 50% and see how that sounds. So this is pure experimentation here and you just got to keep trying and, you know, just re keep resampling and go in stages instead of adding all the plugins on a single channel. Like imagine if I had just copied all, all of these uh, and put it here. I'll take the Ruina as well. I'm just going to bring the gain down a little. So. See, sounds uh, very crappy and very... Uh, hollow you know it doesn't have that energy there is no power there is no physicality to this it's lifeless so uh, for example sake, if, even if i got this down by an octave it would still sound uh crappy You see what I mean? However, if we go in stages, uh, this is the power of iterations, you know. So if we go step by step and when we process the audio in stages, we'll end up with something very different. And this is what we have if we use the power of uh, iterations. So even with a very um, high gain, when I turn this up and I play this, the limiter is still not acting up. So that means I'm still good to go. Maybe there is a bit of gain reduction going on, but uh, it's as expected uh, with these kind of sounds here, with the heavy uh, distortion stuff.
so yeah uh this is what we have i yeah and sorry for the clickbaity title but yeah it did obliterate my piano sound So final thoughts, uh, you could layer uh, the sound beneath a lot of other tracks and, you know, just fine tune it, keep, keep uh, fine tuning it until you reach a point where you're satisfied uh, with the amount of distortion and the way it sounds. So I could even go further and keep uh, trying out different ways to manipulate this audio here and process it so that it just it sounds right. Uh, it just depends on the track though. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pull a whole track here, the my latest release. And if I layer this under... So there you have it, a really warm analog type of distortion and you can really go crazy with this. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful and if you found this valuable, please like, share and subscribe. It helps the channel out. And if you're uh, uh, looking for ways to learn more about this, I've got the project files up for my latest release um you get all the project files from the uh the track sketch to the the all the way to uh mastering so yeah check out the link in the description below so yeah i hope you like it and i will see you in the next video take care bye bye